Harry, Megan, the British press. That's what this is going to be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So has the royal uh, monarch, has the monarchy just uh, tried to play the British press and then lost? It's what it seems like to me, and I believe this started back with Prince Philip back in the day uh, when the television came up and he was trying to figure out how to uh, manipulate all the uh, press and, and all of this to the advantage of the royal family. And uh, he underestimated the, uh, the press, I believe. So this is the Albano Weight Tarot. And who are these by? I think these are... Are these U.S. games? I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. But uh, what these are, these are for a fellow whose name actually is Alabama. Um, and they're done in the, um, in the uh, style of the Rider Waite. But what makes them interesting is that um, they're very bright. I mean, they're just uh, the typical color of the Rider Waite cards, but somehow, wow, where the Pat McCollum Smith cards have kind of a, a foggy tinge over them, uh, these are just really shockingly bright. And the hint to that is that the backs of them are so white, I mean, gold and really, really white. So, you know, these are just like all the Rider Waite cards that you've ever seen that are pretty straightforward. And, uh, but the colors really pop. And so, oh, they probably look really great on the you know, camera too. But uh, I love using these. Let me turn this light off I've got on over here because that kind of doesn't give them a true uh, color. So, well, there you go, the Albano Weight Tarot. I don't know uh, what company they come from, uh, crazy enough, but um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea, you know, what they look, what different cards look like, and maybe uh, help you figure out if you want to buy something I've been using, or, um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am. I just used to always like to know, uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, it's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. Okay, this is going to, and look at that, the tarot card right on the front there. This is going to be Harry and Meghan and the British Press. Harry and Meghan and the British Press. Harry and Meghan and the British Press. You know what I want to know? I want to know, Will, just with three cards, just to get started, will Harry and Meghan win the majority of the battles with the British Press? That's what I want to know. One, two, three. Well, Harry and Meghan win the majority of the battles with the British uh, press. And I think the cards don't I mean the, the ugly part of the press. First card out is Queen of Wands. That's a plan. Okay, that's a very strong plan. It's not a kingly plan, but that's a strong plan. Next card up, okay, Illusion and Delusion. So that's what we're dealing with here when we're talking about the press. We're talking about illusion and delusion, lots of choices to make from these compassionate, emotional uh, situations. And then the final card for that, the Knight of Wands. And this is uh, Harry coming in with a plan. So you know what this says to me is that it's always going to be a battle. The Queen of Wands, I think, is actually the... It could either be Megan as a little more forceful with her plans. This center card, this illusion and illusion, this is the British press. And this knight over here is Harry coming in to battle uh, with the, the plan uh, that the queen has given him. So it doesn't say success, it just says an ongoing battle. So, Meghan and Harry and the British press. Meghan and Harry and the British press. What can the cards uh, tell us? What kind of story is gonna come out? Meghan and Harry, Harry, and Megan, the British press. Megan, Harry, Harry, and Megan, and the British press. Six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Harry and Megan, Megan and Harry, and the British press. What can the cards tell us about that? Signifier card is long-term plans. Uh, again, wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and uh, this just shows us that there, uh, is, there's some long-term plans that are involved here, that have to be involved. The challenge to that, though, have I done enough? This is the uh, Seven of Pentacles, and wondering just that. It, have I done enough? Is there more I could do? And this is Harry. Poor Harry. The base of this reading is the King of Swords. And so the King of Swords is a truth, justice, rules, and law. This is Harry. This is Harry. He doesn't often show up as a king, but this is him. The past of this reading is the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So that's just the deal, the, the deal that he's been dealt. Okay. That his place in birth uh, line, his place in the world, that's what he's been dealt. That's his Wheel of Fortune. The uh, sky of this reading is this five of... Uh, swords, truth, justice, rules, law, and abuse of power, and abuse of that truth, of the justice of those rules and that law. The likely outcome of this, again, Harry comes in as a knight of swords, really charging in with a vengeance. Let's do four more. Harry, Megan, and the British press. Signifier card for that. Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is, this is Harry compared to the British press. He's got truth, justice, rules, and law, but he's just a lowly page in that regard. The environment that it's in is the end of a cycle. So things, um, this could mean that we've, we've completed this cycle, we're starting something else. Or for me, it's kind of saying that, you know, things aren't going to change until some sort of a cycle does end. Hopes of the fears. Ah, holding on to value. This is what uh, that couple has to do. They have to hold on to their value for everything they've got. And then the likely outcome, victory. Okay. So, yeah, wands are plans, uh, actions, forward movement, and this is victory. So it looks like eventually they will uh, prevail. So uh, this whole reading is about Harry and Megan and Megan and Harry and the British press. Okay, long-term plans is what's called for here. Okay, wondering if have I done enough? Is there more than I need to do? This is Harry holding on to that truth, justice, rules, and law with a kingly vengeance. In the past, of this reading with this wheel of fortune, just telling us it was always going to be a crapshoot, and it's because of this five of swords, this abuse of truth, justice, rules, and law. The likely outcome: Harry as a knight fighting valiantly for his truth. The signifier question of that, the, 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 the self of that question about Harry and Meghan is that he holds the value in that fight as a page of swords. There's some sort of a completion that uh, is going to have to take place with this world card. And uh, it leaves him, of course, still hanging on to his value. But there is uh, a redemption in the end. There is victory for uh, those actions, those plans. So you have to wonder what Philip would think about this now. I mean, I guess he did live enough to see it uh, become what it is. But yeah, let's let's hope this gets sorted out somehow. I can't imagine um, having to live under the pressure of that uh, ugly amount of press. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.